Well, hello everyone. I have another review from Tiff. I was actually gonna post this review yesterday, but in the spirit of Next Goal Wins, I decided to delay it instead. But the time is finally here, and the question mostly on my mind walking into Taikai Watiti's latest was whether this was gonna be just a kind of fun blockbuster or whether Next Goal Wins is winning enough to potentially uh, turn the heads of Oscar voters. So Next Goal Wins is based off a 2014 documentary of the same name about a true story of the American Samoa national soccer team, who is actually considered one of the weakest uh, football teams in the world. American Samoa actually suffered the worst loss in international soccer history, where they lost 31 to zero. Hopeless, the team enlists a reluctant Dutch American football coach played by Michael Fassbender, who is hired to basically help turn the hopeless team around. So the story here follows a typical sports underdog formula. And even though uh, Next Goal Wins is completely like self-aware in that and makes jokes about it, it, it kind of undercuts itself in the process. I actually found myself not fully investing in the team's success because the film doesn't really seem to be taking it all very seriously as well. But that being said, Taikai's sense of humor is a highlight of the film. The film is often really funny. It's offbeat like we typically have come to love and appreciate about his films. And Taikai also has this impressive knack of being able to get, you know, all of his actors kind of on the same wavelength comedically. His films are always playful and there's like a sprinkling of heart due to the likability of many of the actors. So one standout in the cast is the head of the American Samoa team played by Oscar Knightley. He's always a very funny presence throughout the film. Michael Fassbender here. So he's, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. It's nothing special, but the film honestly doesn't really give him a really strong arc to work with. I'm sure many would cite a highlight of the cast being Kamana, who plays Jaya, a transgender woman player, or what the American Samoa call Fafafine, which is a word uh, the American Samoa use to lovingly describe a person that embodies both feminine and masculine uh, gender traits. And this could be because I just saw the documentary, but I found myself frustrated with the missed opportunity. The documentary talks about the American Samoa's outlook on transgender as not a source of shame, but as seen as you know a person who's an integral member of their community. In Next Goal Wins, there's a real conflict between you know Jaya and Michael Fassbender's character. And honestly, I found the tension intriguing and I was looking forward to seeing how this was going to kind of unravel. But the film really quickly abandons that tension and comes to a quick resolution, very quick. And in the end, I just feel like the character as a whole is, is pretty short change, especially compared to how um, kind of inspiring she was in the documentary. And honestly, that's kind of the, the common theme across the board for me. There, there just seems to be kind of a, a real lack of conviction and moments that are meant to really make us feel things. The emotional moments don't really resonate because often the moments just feel kind of unearned and unworked up to. So I won't give it away, but one involves finding out like why Michael Fassbender's character is so damaged, but it, it felt kind of phoned in and kind of seemed out of nowhere because the film really didn't like do the groundwork. So Will Arnett is also in the film. He replaced Army Hammer in reshoots and Elizabeth Moss uh, plays Fassbender's ex-wife. Uh, they're practically wasted for the most part. They're, they're fine, but they're ultimately could have been played by anyone. I feel like I'm being extra overly harsh in this film more than I want to be because I, I just have an affection for the documentary. I kind of thought Taikai Waititi was the perfect person to make this film since, you know, many of his films surround underdogs. While it's a funny movie, and by the way, I should emphasize that it is a funny movie. This movie will occasionally make you laugh. And this movie is thoroughly entertaining so it's not a a bad movie but unfortunately it's just an underdog story that just kind of misses the mark emotionally and one that is structurally a bit sloppy but because i was thoroughly entertained i did laugh i'm going to give this film a six out of ten all right now with that being said let's talk about awards potential what nominations could this film snag um i'm going to say uh, nothing. Okay. Good night, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not actually exactly sure this film won't be for sure not nominated. If I was betting today, I would say it's, it's not going to be nominated, especially in a year this competitive. 
So if it wins the audience award here at TIFF, then maybe it could help. What it can tell you from my screening, which was the premiere, is that everyone was having a really good time. The, the response in the room was extremely positive. But as you talk to people in the film festival, I really couldn't really find many people who really loved it. But if it wins TIFF audience award here, it could definitely help. But I think most likely it will be kind of just um, you know, a quick little box office grab, and that will probably be a wrap. Maybe Golden Globes comedy nomination, maybe a Golden Globes comedic actor nomination. Even then, I'm not, I, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, those are my thoughts on Next Goal Wins. I do want to recommend Next Goal Wins, the documentary. I think the documentary really holds the inspiration and kind of like the beating heart. Watiti was is kind of missing in this adaptation, but yeah. Check it out. All right, but well, follow me on Letterboxd or Twitter. Links in the bio. I have more reviews from TIFF coming this week. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you at the Oscars and see you at TIFF. Smarties. Okay. Uh, typically, when I think of Smarties, I think of the chalk nickels is what I call them. But their Smarties are a little different. And just from the box, it looks like M&M's. It just looks like M&M's. I'm just going to be real. <laughs> So in a lot of ways, actually, this, this is kind of like Next Goal Wins. You know, it's like, it's there. It's enjoyable. It's like nothing like to rave about, but like, like, can I get another snack?